Hey guys, this is Austin. Do you need a dual camera smartphone? For months, there have been rumors that the next iPhone would have dual rear facing cameras, but the bigger question is why exactly would you want this? There are several phones that already have a pair of cameras, but one of the first was the HTC One M8 back in 2014. This uses a standard sensor with a smaller camera above, which lets you do some interesting things like change the perspective of a shot after the fact, or adjust the focus to give you selective depth of field. This is pretty gimmicky, but things have improved a lot since then. Instead of upgrading the main camera, LG opted to add another wide angle camera on the G5. This lets you switch between two different focal ranges on the fly. While a normal camera usually has a zoom lens that can get you a tighter shot, the laws of physics means including a zoom lens on a thin smartphone is nearly impossible. So now you're looking at me on the LG G5's main camera. It's actually really nice for a smartphone camera, however it is actually not that wide. And now we're recording on the G5's wide angle camera. As you can see, we're getting a lot more in this shot. It almost looks like you're shooting on a GoPro. Right John? This is a pretty clever use of dual cameras. You'll notice pictures from the wide angle are a bit softer, but when you need to get everything in the shot, it's a big help. The interface is pretty decent as well. If you start zooming, instead of pure digital zoom, it transitions back to the main camera, which while not totally smooth, is a very cool feature. You've got some interesting options for taking pictures or video with both cameras at once to get a different perspective. The cool thing about this is that there's really no downside. The main camera takes terrific shots, and all the extra dual camera features just add to the experience. On the other end of the spectrum, there's the Huawei P9. This takes a slightly different approach with two nearly identical cameras around back. One is a standard 12 megapixel sensor with a Leica lens, where the other is a monochrome sensor. In theory, this gives you a couple advantages. The first of which is that since it uses both cameras to take a picture, you're gathering more light, which the phone is able to use to make your single photo better. Switch it to monochrome mode, and you also have a dedicated black and white camera, which can give you cool results. There's also a mode to adjust depth of field like the one I made if you want to make your shots look like they were taken from a bigger camera. In reality though, this is really on the gimmicky side. While the camera app is Leica styled and maybe a bit complicated yet full of useful pro features, the full color images are good but nothing spectacular. It's not that far off from the best cameras like on the Galaxy S7, but it's hard to see how much the dual camera setup is really adding here. That said, having the second camera really doesn't hurt. There are some cool features now, but most importantly, there's a lot of potential for the future. It'll be interesting to see what the next iPhone does, but dual cameras really do seem to have a future. You might not need one today, but this could be the next big thing in smartphones. <laughs>